Hi all, Planticide Agent here. Uh, yeah, as I mentioned my uh, previous video on all my uh, collection of uh, these uh, Primus and Optimus uh, 71 and I-80, uh, thought maybe I'd fire one up, so uh, I think I will. Uh, I'm gonna fire up the uh, the newer of the, 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 the three models. And I uh, thought while I'd do it before I do fire it up, I wanna clean it up and make sure it's all nice and clean before I try to fire it up. It probably would fire up anyway, so we'll, uh, I'll just, I thought, I'm just going to start to take this apart, and I go, well, might as well just do a video of it so you guys can see all the individual parts. That's if I can keep the darn thing in frame. <laughs> so, anyway, again, here's the, the little case it came in. This one's always been used. It's got some burn on the side and on the top, and there's a lot of, a lot of crud on here I had to clean off and uh, clean this thing up. So, anyway, uh, I'll, when I fire it up, I'll put it back in. So anyway, to start with, uh, to prep this thing for cleaning, I'm going to put all my parts in a uh, old cat food can so you don't wander around. So uh, make sure I stay in the in the frame here. Uh, I wonder if I should zoom in a little bit on this. Yeah, I think I will. Let me reposition the camera. Okay, I hope that's a little better. Anyway, so we'll uh, spin the bell off first. The only downside of uh, firing these up, once you do, the bell gets all dirty again, then you gotta clean it. <laughs> but I'll do that, so. Anyway, there's the bell. Like I said, it's very similar to uh, the uh, 123 and some of the other of this style. Then, uh, like I said, this uh, key, comes with a, uh, a wrench on the end, and the little one there is for the jet. So you can see that right there, so you just can it'll fit right over the jet, and then you can pull it right off. So let's uh, go ahead and take him off. And uh, yeah, he's kind of, I don't, I don't know if you can see him there or not. It's, uh, it's got a little bit of carbon buildup on it on the inside, so I'll, uh, I'll clean that out in a minute and then uh yeah it looks pretty dirty down in there so i'll go ahead and clean that out too so um, let's see how this the wrench that comes with it i guess for field cleaning yep fits on there perfect let's see if we can take the uh the valve out and see what oops i guess it'd help if i kept it in frame wouldn't it guys let's see come on Yeah, I used my iPhone uh, to video this, and uh, I have to kind of peek around the corner here to <laughs> make sure I'm keeping this in frame, so looks like I'm kind of spastic here trying to get this off. Come on. The graphite packing is good. If not, I'll be replacing that. That doesn't look too bad. Unscrew the There's other YouTubers out there do a better job of, of showing how they clean these up. Huh. Oh, okay. There, it looks like the graphite packing is still down in there. I'll have to pop him out in a minute. There's the, the needle. And how's he look? Well, without my glasses. Looks fairly clean. That's that. Okay, I'll pop that out in a little bit. And then, uh, like I said, this one has the pressure relief valve now. I don't know what condition that is in. I might try to unscrew that. Getting these off. Uh, these pressure relief valves can be problematic, and it's hard to find a good pentagram s screw. Uh, I did one, I kind of start to strip it out, and I go, nope, I'm leaving it well enough alone. But uh, 
Anyway, since it's got a little bit of corrosion on the inside, the, the gasket doesn't look too bad. So I might leave him as is. I, I need to clean him up. Yeah, this little white stuff you can see on here, that's some brasso left over from when I originally cleaned the stove up. I'm going to probably polish it up again once I'm all done. These are all, if I remember, pretty dirty. Took quite a bit of elbow grease to get them, get them all cleaned up. A lot of brasso, so... So that's, uh, I could, uh... I could take the whole jet off, but I don't think that's necessary. Looking inside, I can see the, uh, yeah, you probably won't be able to see that. I can see the wick in there, and that, that looks uh, looks pretty decent. I could pull it out to see if it was burned, but uh, nah, I don't know if I'll do that or not. <laughs> I haven't decided yet on that, so maybe I should just completely strip it down just for, just for the sake of argument. Sometimes getting... Uh, yeah, maybe I'll, I'll go, go ahead and try to pull that off. Uh, let's, uh, before I do, I want to take this, take the chain off. Because it just gets in the way. There we go. And this one, this wrench doesn't work for this. You know, to get a bigger one. I think it's a, probably a 10 millimeter. That seems to be the the size of choice. Yeah. Should buy these tens by the by the case. Oh, a little bit bigger, maybe a twelve. Yeah, let's see. Eleven, I guess. You guys can watch my trial and error as I look for the right size uh, wrench. Voila! It is the twelve. So. Let's see how difficult it is going to be to, to pull this off. Let's see if I can do it in camera. Oh, it's on there good. The problem with taking these off there. Really on there well. Ah, okay. Well, I'm going to uh, go ahead and... Uh, Stop the camera so you don't have to watch me struggle and grunt trying to get that off. Okay, a couple days later, uh, had some nice weather, so I did some outside work. And before I got back to this, uh, I decided uh, before I tried to wrestle this uh, valve assembly off, I wanted to see with how, if it would light up at all. So uh, a couple of things, uh, I'll go back to this one. I did notice that uh, when I remember before I thought the gasket was pretty good. Well, it wasn't. I uh, I have some spares, so I dug one of those out and I tried to get the other one out. You can see it here, but it's all <laughs> it's all hard, brittle, so it's completely like plastic now. So anyway, uh, so I put a new gasket in there and uh, went ahead and uh, fired this guy up. And I found out that it's very weak. It barely um, comes up at all. I'm not going to fire it up again. But uh, so I think I'm going to have to do is if I want to get this back to normal, I'm going to have to pull this off and see what kind of shape the wick is. It's possible that uh, they warn they warn you about running these stoves dry because you can actually burn the wick that's up inside this shaft here. You see what I'm doing? Uh, and that's that's possible why it's not getting a good feed, but it's just barely lighting off at all. So I'm gonna have to uh, pull this off. So it could be a job. So I'll uh, I don't know if I'll do another video on the fix on this or not. See what kind of mood I'm in. So anyway, so uh, I went ahead and uh, while I was at it, I decided to uh, just just to fire this uh, the. Uh, the Optimus 80 up just to see how it uh, it performed and it's uh, it's still in good shape. Uh, the gasket was fine. Uh, everything else, I cleaned out the uh, the jet, make sure that was clean at least, and then uh, so I fired it up and it uh, it did work. So I'm gonna fire it up again. The last time I fired it up, it was I had it outside, but I'm gonna try to fire it up inside the the actual wind. Uh, break to see how that works. So let's go ahead and uh, see what 
some matches here. Yep. Uh, go ahead and fire this up. So let's see if this is going to be good enough in camera. Yeah. Yeah, I think that'll work. We'll see. I might have to adjust the camera again. But anyway, so I'll put in, uh, I'm going to prime it with uh, some alcohol. So I'll fill up a little dish in there. Oops. Yeah. Ran all over the place. Playing around with this, you know, I have seen people put these back inside when it's already torched off, and it seems kind of awkward and cumbersome. So I'm going to see how it works if I'm inside the, the little windscreen box. Should work just fine. There we go. So we'll let it uh, heat up. should probably back some Jeopardy music with this while we're waiting, but I'm not. <laughs> if you're bored, maybe I can get some paint out here and we can watch that dry while this is burning off. Make it a double header today. <laughs> yeah, looks like that's it. So let's uh, go. Voila. go yeah a couple things don't ever leave the key on the valve because it'll heat up and get too hot and the other thing they warn you using this is don't close this off it will get too hot and we'll tell them what kind of trouble you can have let's put a little water on here and see how that goes stands nice and sturdy. I mean, it's uh, very secure. So, uh, yeah. Cool little stove set up. I'm glad I got it. <laughs> well, I went online uh, eBay and was checking the price on some of these, and man, these things, like I said, have, have really gone up in price. Uh, I paid a lot less than what they're going for now, so... Anyway, yeah, this is, uh, what you're looking at is my kid's inheritance. They're going to be busy on eBay selling off all my crap. That's about all they're going to get. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, so that's it for my uh, Primus 71s and my Optimus 80 stoves. And I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the action video here. And uh, we'll uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.